walking in the street one day it was a Sunday You had flowers in your hand, you were dancing with your headphones on Thank you, everyone was watching you Starting at this vlog, July 2nd, it's Friday, me and Jordan are gonna go shopping! Everyone is watching, but I still feel so alone, alone, alone And I've been waiting on a miracle, but by the time it comes I'll probably be stoned or on my phone a whole damn hour to afford two gallons and i'm not doing enough for now the day and now the challenge i woke up one day and the world was cold felt like i'm way too young to fill this old i got a hole in my heart it keeps getting bigger so i'll try to fill it up by rooting in my liver i'm a poster child millennial feel like i'm way too young to fill this old hello so we are going to do a little haul of what we got first place we went is garage i got this like sweater vest type of thing it's like a really nice blue focus there we go knitted and then it has like white outline oh my god this is my favorite shirt i'm so excited for it and it was on the pride table which i, I love this like has frills on the side and it's so cute it's like it's like baby a baby doll t-shirt i swear i had this when i was like four <laughs> i love that it's coming back it's so cute then i got these like sweatpants shorts and I was literally thinking this the other day. Oh, you, ah! <laughs> okay, we both got the same ones. Gray sweatpants shorts. And I was literally thinking the oh. other day because I wear my sweatpants <laughs> all the time. But it's summer and it's hot. So I'm wearing my sweatpants and I'm sweating. So I was like, I need a short shorts. equivalent. Oh and God. they literally had perfect, super comfy. They, and they're the best. Like, they're not see-through. And they're so comfy. Garage sweats are the best. And then I got this, like, black tank top sort of thing. And then it, yeah. like, scrunches mm -hmm. in the middle. Usually these types of tops are, like, really tight. But this is so comfortable like fit me like a glove so i am obsessed with this and it was like the cheapest thing i got so love it yeah i might i might wear that online with my promo do it the last thing i got is this set and i don't think i'm gonna do it justice here in the car but <laughs> it's so cute so that's the bottom it's brown little cinch over here yeah it's so pretty and the matching top it's really cute it, it looks good on it looks so good <laughs> on her and then we went to indigo and i got this book love and olives it's like the third book in a series and i have the first two they take place in italy and ireland and this one takes place in greece i'm so excited for it and it is fat it is 500 pages so very excited look how cute and i wasn't planning on getting a book but i got where the crawdad thing because i've heard so much about it and i like a little bit of mystery in my books and i think it's gonna be good that is all we got Ta -da! Second dose of vaccine check. Here is the outfit I will be wearing for this very important occasion. I'm wearing my Urban Outfitters mom jeans and then this t-shirt. Even though I'm really cold, I want to wear my hoodie, but you have to wear short sleeves so that they can like reach your shoulder and <laughs> I'm freezing. It is 11.31 if it will focus. And my appointment's at 11.50. It was supposed to be like August 20th, but then it got moved up to like August 10th or something. And then it got moved up to like July 13th. And then I moved it up to July 6th. Got my Medicare card and I'm gonna get a mask downstairs and I need my like vaccine paper. I did it. Look at that vaccinated girl summer 2021 it honestly hurts i felt it hurt the first time too because i literally feel warning if you don't like this type of stuff but i literally felt the needle going in and like usually when i get the flu shot like i feel it just a little poke and then it's done but like this one like you literally feel it and it hurts a lot so i did not love that but i went with my brother and like it was weird like they were letting us stay together like they let us stand on the same two meter marker they let us go into the same booth to get our shots from the same woman but yeah it's all done don't feel anything yet but i'm going to take my tylenol now so that hopefully i don't have any side effects because i did not have any side effects for the first one lucky for me i just get to sit in bed all day because i have a video to edit so i won't be doing too much to my arm so hopefully it doesn't hurt but yay here's to the end of covid 
Right now it is 7.02 and my friend is leaving at 7.30 to pick me up to go to a friend's birthday. And I have yet to get ready. And I don't know why I always do this myself, but recently I have been giving myself no time to get ready. And I don't know where that's coming from because usually I'm good at time management, but I have 30 minutes to do hair, makeup, choose an outfit and put on my jewelry and leave. So you guys are coming along with me. Basically it's my friend Amanda's 21st birthday tomorrow. Today's Saturday, so we're going out tonight. But first we're gonna go to her house and then we're gonna go to a place and I don't know what to wear. I was tanning today with my friend Hallie and she suggested this black bodysuit from Princess Polly with my Princess Polly jeans that like crisscross on your waist so it kind of like snatches your waist. Okay, yeah, I can't think of anything else. So I'm gonna try on this bodysuit, but then I'm gonna try it on with jeans. And then I'm also gonna try it on with two of my skirts because I really, I don't know why I was in the mood to wear a skirt, but I am. So I'm gonna try on all three outfits very, very quickly and then decide which one I like best. First option, I have a jean skirt with the bodysuit. I like it, I like it, but I'll see if I like something else more. Here's the bodysuit with a white skirt. I didn't do up the zipper because I'm in a rush, so I'm not tying all the skirts and jeans and whatever. I kind of like this one too because it makes me look really tan. And then here are the jeans. This is like the waist thing I was talking about. Again, buttons are not done up, but like, see, it kind of like goes like that. It overlaps itself. So I just texted three pictures of the jeans, the blue jean skirt, the white jean skirt, and these jeans to Hallie, and I'll see which one she says I should wear. But while I wait for her to answer about the outfit, I'm gonna get started on the hair. Actually, no, I don't know. Do we want beachy waves? Actually, I'm gonna FaceTime Hallie and ask her what she thinks. I just sat down to do my hair, but like, do you think it's like, like messy. I love it. Do you think I should keep it? Yes. Okay. So now, not doing hair, I'm gonna do my makeup. I'm going to start with my under eye concealer. I use the Garnier Clearly Brighter Anti-Dark Circle Eye Roller. I've literally used this for years and I've used all my makeup products for years because I don't know the last time I bought makeup because I am just so not in that phase anymore. I used to be obsessed with makeup and like in high school, I would literally cake on pounds of makeup and that's why I hate it now because I overdid it in high school. So the second my skin cleared up, I was like, hey, why am I going to like punish myself with this now that I don't even have any pimples to cover up? Like, why would I punish myself and put on cakes of makeup because I would feel so uncomfortable and I would come home from school and I would take it off immediately. So now I just really don't like doing makeup even for going out. Like obviously I feel happy when I have my makeup on and like I feel like I look nice but I would love to go with no makeup. So that's all I do and since I don't do foundation I kind of just like use the brush all over my face so that it can get like some leftover product on. But then we're moving on to brows. So I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills clear brow gel and I just brush through my brows so that they like stay in place. Next, I'm going to add a bit of highlighter. So I have the Becca Opal highlighter and it actually broke. I like dropped it on the floor. I don't know how long ago, but I have to open it very carefully because if I don't, it's all going to spill out. I don't know if you can see there, but it's cracked. So I just go like that and then I do like two sweeps on each of my eyes and then I do a little bit on my nose, a little bit on my cheekbones, a little bit on my other cheekbone, and then I'll take a little bit on my finger so it's more like potent, and I like stick that on my inner corner. And then I'm gonna take my eyelash curler, and obviously I'm gonna curl my lashes. And then I do mascara, and I use like a bunch of mascaras because it's my favorite step, Maybelline, the Colossal Mascara. So what I do is I put this all over my eyelashes, like over my whole eye. And then what I do with the other mascaras is I only put them on the second half of my eyelashes. So it kind of like makes my eyes bigger because it's kind of like accentuating the end of it. Pretty sure I saw it on TikTok. And I literally just go on the corners of my eyes on the other side as well. And there we go. This is a little close up. All right, now I'm gonna pick out my jewelry. First, I'm gonna put on the rings that I wear all the time. They're just from Pandora. One of them is like a princess crown and then the other one's like flowers. And then for necklace, I think I'm gonna wear this one. It's like a nice little silver diamond looking charm. Here's a little close up of what it looks like. I'm also gonna put on my perfume before I forget. All right, so this is the final look. I'm gonna like tidy up my room as much as I can while I'm waiting for Holly to get here. Thanks for joining me on this very rushed get ready with me. See you later. My love language is your time and attention. Yep. I'm Emily Roman, I'm so sorry, Mara. Mara. Currently 
11.59, less than a minute till she turns 21. She's about to be 21 years old. 21. 